we are sad to announce that we are selling our Airstream. The 13 Adventures 30 foot rear bedroom international 2021 model is going to be no more. Because we're getting a different Airstream. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to get the 27 foot front bed, twin bed, international with a rear hatch. Then once you gotta hold on me She's the warmth of the summer, the color of the spring She's the strongest wind, the calmest breeze And once you gotta Hi Adventures, hold um, I want to take a moment to give you some updates on where Blair and I are with the new rig. So we have sold the 30 foot international and we are so excited for the family who has it now and um, we're very glad that you are the ones who bought it because we know that you're going to take care of something that took care of us for such a long long time so congratulations to that family for the new rig it arrived about a month ago at the airstream dealership and we were able to start doing some upgrades to it but upon arrival that we noticed that there was a small crack in the front corner panel and from the right guard. I don't know what happened during the transport from the factory to the dealership, but things happen, no big deal. The panel guy, I had a chat with him at that dealership and uh, he is very, very good. So we had a panel replaced on our previous rig, if you're not aware. And although it was a decent job, it didn't hold up over time and I was not very happy with that. So I will discuss this later, but there's a difference between buck rivets which the factory uses and olympic rivets which are typical for repairs uh, there's a difference between them and i'll i'll discuss that during the main that video but with that said we couldn't move into it right away because we knew we had to turn it back in for some time to get the panel replaced so i was able to do some of the upgrades that i wanted to do uh, before that and then i'll have to do more when we go back so I'm recording this back east. Uh, you know, we drove back east to visit our families for Christmas and New Year's, and we're very thankful to spend some time with our loved ones, which we haven't seen in a while. Uh, and all of our items that we had to move out of the old rig are sitting in a storage bin right now until we can move them into the new rig. So upgrades you can expect going forward. And I plan to do snippet small videos of all these things that I've done instead of one long maintenance video. So this will give you a chance to see each individual piece if that's something you desire or you can go through and watch them all at one time um, things we did major things we did were a game changer 270 amp hour battleborn battery i only use one uh, we've been very pleased with our agm batteries that were in the old rig for the duration of the, our ownership and they worked well for us we only really ran out of battery once during a boondocking session it was about five days long otherwise we were very happy with our agm batteries that came with the rig and the solar package the new rig and new airstreams if you don't know they change the solar panel manufacturer but they give you more solar but they don't include a battery anymore so you have to choose your battery so this one i said i'm going to go big and put a big lithium battery in this time so that's what i did also wanted to put in a 3000 watt Victron inverter. This way I could wire the entire system up to that one battery if I wanted to and be able to run the air conditioner, run the microwave or run the pick a thing. And it's all ran from the battery should I need it to be. And time will tell how long those things will last. Um, I can give you some guesstimates on math, but until you do a real world application, you don't really truly know what's going on but I promise those videos are coming. Other small items we did was, you know, I put the, the touch screen in there for control. I put the inverter controller panel in. I put in a Progressive Industries inline surge protectors and I added some extra circuit breakers. I changed out the locks on all the external storage doors from the shiny ones from Air Gear that are individually keyed, um, separate from what comes from the factory. I cleaned up all the wiring on the rig so it looks much better than it did. And I'll explain to you why the factory sends them out the way they do um, at some point. So everybody complains about the way the wiring looks in that compartment. It's not dangerous. And I, I will explain why they do it the way they do. I put some 3M protective film on the inside of my storage doors so I don't scratch them up. If you've had an Airstream for any amount of time, you realize how easy it is to scratch up the inside of those storage doors, outside, the external storage doors. 
we're adding a fourth solar panel to the already three that are on the roofs. So that'll give us 400 watts on the roof total. I did some lubricating of the rear hatch and some adjustments on that so that it closes better and the key works a little better. So now I have nothing in the battery box and I'm able to use that as a storage bin, but I also have my wiring for my DC to DC charge. I hooked up on the very front of my truck to the battery, a circuit breaker, and a solenoid that I can use in my upfitter switches to turn on and off. And it runs all the way to the back by the tag, and I can plug in the trailer to a 30 amp DC to DC charger. And I'll go over the install of that, both rig and tow vehicle. I done a number of things from Phil, the no locks guy, uh, the striker bolt on the door, uh, a step brace, a lock, uh, the no locks thing, which he originally started out with. I'm going to put a new drawer handle basically on the door plate itself so I can close the door and not have to use the Airstream handle that, to close the door with. We did this on the old rig. I'm just going to do the same thing again on this new rig. What used to be the pass-through outlet, so meaning your old inverter was plugged into an outlet up front. I took that whole wiring system, chopped it down, cut a hole in the, the bed frame, basically. So when I open up the outside storage compartment, I have a new outlet right there so I can charge my drill batteries or anything else I want to leave in that compartment outside um, and not have out in the weather because you have your outlet on the out exterior side of the rig But now I have one of those inside a compartment which is accessible from the outside and I installed a micro air easy start on the air conditioner uh, I only did it on one. I didn't choose to do both because I figured we would only use one um, And that's the main air conditioner the 15,000 BTU one And I'll go over how to install one of those Plus, I'm going to show you the wiring systems and how I wired everything up and why I chose to do where I put things and, you know, the A-frame wiring and uh, any other thing that comes to mind that I uh, am doing or have done on this rig. I'm excited to share with you all. So thanks for making us a part of your day as always. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in 2023. Happy holidays, everyone. And happy adventures. Got a